Hello guys, welcome to Filament Daily. Today I want to talk about one typical Laravel practice, which if you do the same in Filament would be a bad practice from Filament point of view, and this is publishing the views to customize them. I want to show the examples, explain why it is bad and what are the consequences. So recently after I published the video about this bottom left block with render hook with custom theme, I received this comment from Oliver. Can't you just use Tailwind CSS in the blade view instead of render hooks and instead of your own theme? Another similar example of possible customization is from Discord, page header in top bar. And one of the solution that the author is trying is publishing the views, not even publishing, but copying the views from vendor of filament and then adding custom divs, CSS classes or whatever for layout. And for many years, this has been a typical common practice in Laravel. For example, if you want to publish Laravel mail blade views, you run PHP artisan vendor publish for Laravel mail, which will copy the blade files into resources views vendor mail. Some packages do the same thing like for example, official Laravel polls, and there are non-official packages that do the same vendor publish. And then you have the blade files outside of vendors instead in resources views vendor package name, and then you customize the blade however you want. However, in filament, that doesn't work that way. Technically, the artisan commands still exist and still would work. So you can do vendor publish, and then you choose what to publish, for example, from form service provider of filament, this would publish some stubs and resources views to the blade. Also, you can run the same thing and choose filament service provider like a global thing for the full panels. It would also publish blade views. Let me demonstrate. Actually, you can choose from a lot of providers within the filament like widgets, support notifications and others. And the result of that, see in my PHP storm on the left side, resources, views, vendor, and then filament panels. And there are a lot of blade files inside like components, sidebar, index blade. So you can customize anything in the sidebar here. I've opened that index blade. The blade files are mixed between blade components, Alpine, some filament stuff, some inline PHP. Internally, by the way, filament is very complex thing. And in many cases, I wouldn't even know how to override some things, but it is possible. So you can change something here. Like for a very simple example, let's put some text here on top of div in the header. And now if we refresh that page of that panel, we see ABC here. So again, it is possible to customize the HTML and CSS of the blade files. Now, where I'm getting to, why it is not the recommended way. Imagine you do have those blade files customized, your project is already alive, up and running, and everything is fine. And then at some point you need to upgrade filament version. It could be a minor version like 3.2 point something, like just composer update, or it could be filament four. So at that point, the vendor files will be updated. So that index blade in vendor file will be updated with potential fixes and maybe new features. There are a lot of blade files, but then not only you will not get those new features and fixes because instead you use your blade files, but also it may break your application. Because what if something is fixed in non-blade files, expecting the blade file to work like core filament and not with your custom functionality. And if you think there are not a lot of changes in those blade files over filament, let's take a look at the source. So there's packages, panels, resources, views as a folder, and let's click history how many changes were recently to that folder. So I'm shooting this video at the end of October and already here, October 23. Let's see what's inside. So this is not that important, just a comma, but let's click this, for example, commit. And this has some already some functionality instead of lazy true, lazy some other condition. Also, let's scroll down mobile desktop view fix. So this is probably some important fix for mobile view and this was released October 21, then October 18, 17, September. So quite a few changes just in recent months just for panels resources views, but there are also forms resources views, tables, notifications, actions and stuff like that. So quite a lot of changes are constantly pushed in the minor filament versions. And that's why if you override those blades and do that locally, 
then you should do the thing that is mentioned in the official docs. In the style customizations, the render hooks are preferred, but also if you do want to publish blade views, this is important. We don't recommend this, but if you do do that, then you need to lock your filament packages to a specific version in your composer JSON, which means in your composer JSON, instead of having 3.2 here, you should do something like 3.2.119, for example, and then forget about upgrading filament the usual way. Then you will do that manually with each minor or major version or whenever you want to upgrade. And that will be definitely inconvenient. So that's why you need to use the preferred way of render hooks. I've been talking about them quite a lot on this channel with various examples. And even if we look at that index blade, what's inside, we may see quite a few render hooks here let me scroll down this is the one so render hook if you want to add something at nav bar start then another hook let me scroll down yep at the end render hook sidebar nav and or sidebar footer so two hooks here and many of the blade files have internally places which you may hook into with render hooks without publishing the blades so yeah this longer video just to explain to you why you should not do something in filament like you used to do in Laravel. What do you think? Have you ever bumped into that issue of publishing the blade then customizing them and then struggle to upgrade filament? What did you do in that case? Let's share the experience in the comments below. That's it for this time and see you guys in other videos.